guys, welcome back to Outsider. It's Thursday, 23rd of December, 2021. Um, I've come down to the half round pools. It's, uh, it's 10 to 8 a.m. now. Just waiting for a bit more light and I'm going to chuck the shelter up. After I've walked around the pool, of course, see if I can locate some fish. But um, there's low pressure today, so it was a no-brainer, I had to get out. Done everything for Christmas. Finished off last night with the big shop, etc. Uh, day off work today. My partner's home with Lily Boo. So I'm out on the bank. So um, I was saying I'm going to wait for the light to come up a little bit now. I will walk around. See if I can look at look anything, chuck the shelter up, and get some solid bags tied up. See you in a bit, guys. Give me an update soon. Right, guys, I've uh, had a walk around. I can't see anything, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fish in a spot I've fished before where I've caught, okay? So it's only my third time here, but I've caught on one of those sessions of that peg here. I've got the house set up. I've got a catch station set up. I'm under the umbrella here. Look, I got it up for light so I can stand underneath there to do some filming. Because that's going to be a challenge today, is uh, getting some filming done without getting soaking wet. You know, not so much me, but the camera. And the next challenge is fishing PVA bags, right? But I'm sure we'll, uh, we'll get it sorted. Yeah, so I'm going to fish the same spots as last time. The Christmas tree, the gap there, and the gap there. So tight, well not too tight to the margin on the other side. So, uh, when I was casting out on the previous session in this peg, when I was cast, oh there you are, there was a show there then, right by the Christmas tree, I don't know if we've seen it. Yeah, so that's fantastic, that is, that's great feedback. It was a show right up tight to the margin. No, oh, sorry, it was a coot. <laughs> it was a coot. Scrap that one then. But, um, yeah, so it's going to be a challenge today to keep everything dry. It's PVA bags on the camera, right? But I'll do my very best for you guys, as I always do. There's nobody fishing. I didn't expect there would be, to be honest. I've noticed a lot of boys have already, uh, Drawn an end to the 2021 fishing season. Commitments, children, COVID, etc. etc. Right, so I'm gonna go and tie three bags up now. Um, I've got some part glue with me and I've also brought some rock salt with me. So I might even be putting some particle in the PVA bags, okay? Because I know they're a sucker for sweet corn down here. Yeah? So I'm going to fish, fake cone popped up. Alright, I'll get back to you soon guys. So I've tied all three bags at once, rather than do one at a time. Because my, arm get, my hands get wet from being outside. I'll spin that stick around and I kick there when I get out. Yeah, so I've tied them all, I'm just going to attach, attach them to the rods now. Before I, sorry, before I uh, attach them to rods, I'm going to put some goo, some goo on the outside of the bag for a bit, a bit of protection from the rain. Because goo, if it's uh, you probably already know, it's PVA friendly, so I'll cover the outside of the bag with goo for a bit of protection. A uh, good way of uh, protecting PVA bags in the rain, I haven't got any with me, is um, to dip them in some hemp oil. It does slow the breakdown time, but it, uh, it definitely prevents them from breaking before the cast. Right guys, we're fishing. I uh, managed to get them all out. Without them breaking, you know. And they all went down exactly where I wanted them to. So, I'm happy. There's one right in there. There's one about a foot off the bank here. And there's, oh, 
there's one by the boy there. I'm right on top of the rods, as you can see. Fishing slack lines. I am back led in because of swans in here. And the clutches are up tight. It's time to pray to the carp gods, guys. So here's the salt I use at certain times of the year. Uh, a lot of people use Himalayan sea salt, but I just always pick this one up in the supermarket because of the tub it comes in, it's just handy and it keeps everything airtight and dry. I had this one from Tesco's last night and it cost £1.40. Now we'll see me right through the year that will. So I've added some, um, I've added some about two tablespoons to my, uh, on, to my bucket, see? And I have had a lick of the contents and it is very salty, which is what the carp need, as I say, certain times of year. Some of you already know this, but, um, they need the minerals, you see. Especially going now into winter. Always a good time around spawning as well. Yeah, so the carp needs the minerals, see. The sodium. So that's why that goes in. But as I say, I buy this tub. Uh, Cornish sea salt. Just because it comes in a nice handy tub. Okay. Something I will be ordering tonight off eBay is a laser pen. Yeah, so this half round pools, as you can see, it's divided in two. There's carp in both. You can only fish one side, as I've said before, right? Either fish our side or fish our side. But this lakes here, these lakes here, they're on the Bryn Mill Angling Club ticket. So you also get the Fenrod Lake, which is just five minutes up the road there. Um, it's a ticket water, so it's £70 for the year. And that's it then, you just pay the £70. There's no fees you know, per session, it's just £70 for the year, that's it. Those are... Pretty lucky really to have something like that down here in Wales because they both hold fabulous fish with both waters you know absolute stunners see the larger fish are in the fen rod it's a bigger lake as well And the van is only parked at the end of the the green lawn there. So quite accessible, you know. It's good for disabled anglers as well. Which is absolutely fabulous. It's really good like and it's good coast fishing in that lake there. <clears throat> so if we live local, fantastic like. That is gin clear. 
didn't clear it. So this is how you make your PVA. <coughs> sorry, this is how you make your particles PVA friendly, guys. Right? Good dosing of salt. Good dosing of salt. Mix it all in. That's good enough now to go into the solid bar, guys. Show you in a bit, right? That's one way of making particle PVA friendly. It also preserves it as well. So it was, uh, it was good to know. Just seen a show of definite carp jumping in there where my left hand rod is. There, in there. Same sort of stamp as uh, the fish I seen here, you know, really dark with golden bellies, like, yeah, come out the water twice it did. Good sign, guys, good sign. So I've just tied up another bag now. And as you can see, I've got particle in there now as well. See, so just by adding salt, your PVA friendly. The rain has backed off a bit anyway guys. Yeah, it's backed off a bit. So I'm gonna look around this hall, see if I can see any signs. Is the two resident swans. There's only two on this uh, this lake. There's quite a few coots, you know. Just move the middle rod, guys, because I wasn't very happy with the coot diving down on it all the time. So what I've done now is I've thrown it three quarters away across.
it's quarter past 11 now. <coughs> so all three rods now have been recast. The one has gone straight back in there because that's where we've seen the fish show. It's one three three quarters of the way across because the coots are picking up. Well, they didn't actually pick up my bit, but they were diving down there all the time. And I've just put my right hand rod right in there. It was a lucky cast it was. So it went down the air and it went down with the thud as well. So you stay out now till about 1.30, 2 o'clock, unless something happens in between. Ah, it's 10 past 1 now, guys. Uh, nothing on the rods, and only the one show. But the coots have been decimating me on my spot in there, so I moved it now to there. But they were diving down all the time same as when they had a rig in there earlier on today yeah so definitely be getting a laser pen tonight I'll order one tonight see but uh oh, they decimated the spot they have the swans don't bother you like not on this lake, you don't. A uh, bit of news, guys. My missus just rang me now, and uh, she said there's a parcel there for me. Uh, what is um, a company I done a review for before? I reviewed a bivy light from Sunblesser Limited. Uh, they messaged me the other day and asked me if I'd be a consultant from well. I don't really know, I wouldn't like to call a consultant, you know what I mean, it's a bit of, I say a field tester, so they've sent me a, um, they've sent me a head torch to test, and one of those racks you put up inside your bivy to hang your rigs on, yeah, so they've arrived today, so I'll try and get them up for you now, the next two days, alright, so I'm banging it. I think I just seen a show or probably a coot. Let me have a look. Let's see. Ah yeah, another coot. Bloody coot cement alone here guys. What do you call them now? Uh, flying rats. Or black chickens, isn't it? Yeah, so. As I keep saying guys, there's a laser pen being ordered tonight. Plenty new sun salmon. Right guys, uh, it's 25 to 4 now. It doesn't look like uh, it's going to happen today, to be honest. I thought it would have mind with the low pressure. Just goes to show, doesn't it? But, um, it's been a great day out again. Better than being in the house, isn't it? So, um, I'll give it 10 minutes now. If you don't hear it off me, you know I've blanked. No shame in that, it's same here, is it? So, if, if you don't see me, have a good one. I'll probably see you next week now, just before the new year. Alright, take it easy guys, don't forget to subscribe. Ta-ra!